Let me introduce to you Peter Larsen. He is a well-known developer of audio system. For example, he was developed uh, some drivers for MicroLab. So your name well known in my country, yeah. like a great expert. Please tell me, you know, tell us, you know, what kind of uh, loudspeaker we have to expect in the future. I mean, multimedia are not expensive, small one uh, loudspeaker. Please, sir. We will, uh, we can expect small speakers still, uh, like uh, the Amazon Echo and, and these small portable speakers. I think they will, we will see them for many years. But we also have the other end, well, high-end speakers, where we really focus on good sound, also in the bass. So I think we will see those two still on the market for many years. What do I think about new type of uh, transducers? Yeah, um, there are many transducers. There are also uh, even uh, chip speakers. Uh, and they're not cheap, but they're cheap. <laughs> and um, they will grow, I'm pretty sure, because they can use, be used for hear, hearing devices and all kinds of things that are close to the ear. Uh, they are not really loud speakers, so they have limitations. But that will certainly develop. Um, there are also some other interesting um, inventions. We have, I have developed with a co colleague, new forms of spiders, where we use wires. And there's some advantages that we don't have restriction of the air. The air can flow freely below the diaphragm. And we have even one where we have no surround, but we use the wires instead. It's a very special device, but we like to push the limits. So that's one example. Okay, and thanks to DSP, yeah. do you expect uh, increase uh, uh, way uh, numbers? Means now it's most popular is two-way system. Now, for example, Edifier made three-way system. Maybe we have to wait in four system, four-way system or not? Yeah, I think that is... Thanks to DSP. Thanks to DSP, we can do a lot more and control much more than we could before. Um, let's say there are two directions, I would say. The, the multi-way could be interesting for more expensive speakers because it's more drivers. And with the DSP, we can control it much better. On the other hand, we can also design drivers that work in an extended range, like I did on the MicroLab Pure. Yeah. Because there I designed the woofer, not just as a woofer, but also with really good mid-range, so that we just far away from the crossover frequency still have control of the breakout, for example. So I think that we talk about two ranges now, two directions, rather. Yeah, I see. I see. Uh, what about your current uh, job? What do you do for audio now? We make software. I, let's say we have two parts. I still work as a consultant for interesting projects for development. I, I think it's fun. And um, then we make the software in the fine circle. Yeah. And um, we have the full circles from the very first sketches um, which we do with Finebox to find out in which size of a box are we going to work with and how can we optimize the driver for that. And then we move on to perfect the cone in fine cone. We work with the suspension and the motor system optimize everything. So we can optimize the driver even before we build the first prototype. So the prototype, the first prototype will be very close to the real target. And then following when we are going making systems, we measure with multi-microphones so that we can measure on and off axis and get, let's say, the full picture. And this is what we use in the crossover software, Fine Crossover, that is still selling 
for passive crossovers, but also with DSP, where we have more possibilities. What we think is interesting that we can use some of the simulation uh, results to control uh, high power, high excursion, and so on. And this, so we combine, we combine the two, so that we can have more advances in the simulation and prediction. Yeah, it's very interesting, exciting, and people will wait new, new uh, audio ideas from you from. Uh, any other manufacturers and, and audio enthusiasts. Yeah. Thank you very much for your course, sir. Nice to meet you there and have a nice day, Peter. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank coming. You.